something to do with these? Uh, yeah. Um, well, Ray Allen kind of kind of convinced me we had a little golf trip in uh, DR, and he was talking about some of the things he was doing about going back to school and challenging yourself and stuff uh, for us athletes. And uh, I really took heed to it and decided to go back. And um, one of one of the best liberal studies programs is at A and T, and it just so happens I got deep roots in Carolina with you know Chris Paul and CJ Paul. And um, after that, it was just, you know, just things started trickling down, just trying to figure out if I still got eligibility, so see what's going on there. And uh, But more importantly, just try to educate myself, do something after basketball. Uh, they always told me I could go back whenever, uh, when I was coming out of high school, so and this is whenever for me. The patience it brings you to, it kind of, golf is one of those uh, one of those games that can, you know, have you feeling really high or it can bring you down to your knees to humble you. So. Uh, to have that feeling and you know knowing that all of all of the game is pretty much on, on my on my own hands and I don't have to you know worry about teammates to pass the ball to and uh, getting receiving passes and, and playing defense so I can just play my game and uh, you know just have fun. What's your handicap there? Uh, right now I'm a five. five. Um, it's not where I wanted to be yet. So playing with coach and uh, some of the guys on the team has been has been getting helpful. I started playing about 12 years ago. Um, the late Moses Malone taught me how to play. So uh, down in Houston, I was working out with John Lucas and during the summer times and stuff like that. So it was uh, it's been it's been a journey. Have you picked a major then? Yeah, liberal studies. And you're going to start August 16th as your first class. Uh, 18th, I think. 18th. Yeah. So ready for that? Yeah, uh, it's been a long, been a long time since I've been in school. So um, I'm excited though. It's new challenges. I get to really uh, buckle in. I got nothing but free time now, and uh, you know between. Raising kids and going to school, uh, my schedule's pretty full. Uh, it was very special, I, I can't wait uh, to be a part of an HBCU family and to really have been embraced by everybody on campus so far. I uh, can't wait to see the students and start going to some of the football games and start really, you know, repping Aggie Pride.